What's going on guys? Got a fire panel that's beeping. Just came in here, hit the buzzer of silence, and you can see on our screen it doesn't say system normal. We're getting a trouble code, one of one. So we'll go ahead and hit the question mark to see what we got. It's saying the open circuit trouble L0A002. So now if we can check over here on our two booster panels. Our batteries, our board, and we shall only have the one light right here where it says AC. That's your power. Then you got your battery light, uh, your auxiliary, then all your uh, outs, which are your fire loops. One, two, three, and four. So if any of the problems on this here at the bottom, that light would light up to tell you what circuit has a problem, whether it was circuit one, two, three, four. If you had a trouble, and there's always a end of line resistor here. That's what the EOL means. All right, so this board's good. We don't have any lights there. Batteries are newer. They were uh, replaced last year, 2020. Usually about three years, you gotta replace the batteries. And this board here, let's see, we got the battery lights on. It's hard to see with the light, but. And right there's our problem. This battery over here looks pretty decent, but we're actually a uh, little over the three year mark since these were put in in 2018, so we'll just change them both. And this is all low voltage right up here. Got your high voltage coming in, and then your low voltage coming out, going to your battery backup. So this panel here is good to go. We'll close that up. I'm gonna run up to the shop, grab two more uh, 12 volt dash 7F door cell batteries and we'll come back swap these batteries out and we'll cut this off and replace the uh, terminal all right we've got two new batteries right here got my marker or my paint pen wire cutters strippers now i'm just going to go ahead and unhook the wires going to these batteries i had a call put the system in test while i do this so I'm going to go ahead and just close this panel up. And once I change out those batteries and fix the terminal, we'll see that code go back to uh, system normal. So let me go ahead and get these unhooked, and then we'll cut this off and hook up a new terminal. Okay, we got our negative wire here fixed. Cut it back to some good wire. Got a new terminal on, nice and tight. Here's our positive side, it's still good. Now here's our new batteries right here. Went ahead and dated them. Today is 8-4-21. And right there as well. And here's our two old ones from 2018. There's our bad one. You can see it's starting to leak. So we'll go ahead and throw those in the box. All right, now when you put these in, you want to face them the opposite, opposite way of each other to where all your terminals, negative, positive, positive, negative. And you got your jumper. It's going to go from negative on this battery to positive on this battery. Now I'm going to need two hands. I'm going to lift these up and I'm going to move these wires out of the way, set them in place, and then we'll hook up these two. Okay, there's our batteries with our wire going from negative to positive and then coming off our board we have the positive and negative here 
So we'll hook the black one up to the negative on this side. And then we'll hook the positive up to this positive. Now, when I do that, we should uh, get rid of this code here and it should go back to system normal. So as I hook this up, we'll watch the screen and we'll see what it does. Our battery light went out and there's our system normal. Just took a little bit. We had the common trouble light that one there was blinking and we had a loud beeping and I had just pressed this buzzer silence. I'll pull this terminal back off once and hear how loud it beeps. And you can see our battery light is back on as well. There it goes. Alright, we'll silence it. See our battery lights on. I will hook this up. I'll hear it click. There's the relay clicking. The battery light is off. And this will go back to system normal. There we go. All right, looks like we're good to go. And this is a Miracom uh, fire panel system here. Our main panel is, I believe it's the FX350. Yep. And these are uh, Silent Night. It's our booster panels. And the model number's right there. Bunch of get-go droppings there on the wall. And they like to run around all this stuff. There's our repeater, which is a Starlink. All right, that's replacing the batteries and a booster panel. It's a Honeywell Silent Night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.